an apple fritters for that. I'm going to roll it out in a rectangle shape just like you would do for cinnamon rolls. And then we're going to put apple pie filling in the center of it. Some cinnamon and we're going to roll it up just like you would do cinnamon rolls. And we're going to cut it and put it back to press it back together. This is a brioche dough or donut dough. These can be made ahead of time. Okay, we're gonna put some apple pie filling in this and spread it out. I made extra apple pie filling after they're fried. I'm actually gonna pipe it into the back of the fritter for extra apple flavor. You don't have to do that. It's certainly optional. It's probably enough. flour on this. This is going to act as a binder so that way we don't get too much oil when we fry it inside absorbed by the apples. I'm going to give it a good sprinkling of cinnamon. You want to put a good amount of cinnamon on here. When you fry it sort of comes out sometimes in the oil so we want to make sure there's a good amount of cinnamon in here. going to roll it up into a log, cut it with a bench knife or a chef's knife, whatever you prefer. They are sort of messy to make but they're really good to eat. I'm just gonna cut it. We want little pieces. And then we're just gonna press them back together with plenty of flour. And they're gonna go on a half sheet pan. You can certainly refrigerate overnight if you want to and fry them up right out of the fridge tomorrow morning. Okay, so we're gonna press these together. I just took some flour. Again, plenty of flour. This is a messy process. And you're just gonna take those pieces and we're gonna press some of them back together. I am wearing food safe gloves. It makes the process a lot easier. And then you're just going to smush them down into fritters. And then we're going to put these on a half sheet pan lined with parchment paper. And they're going to go in the fryer. We've got homemade apple fritters. Go into the oil. It's about 375 degrees. I'm going to gently place these in the oil so I don't splash it everywhere. And I'm going to monitor my temperature with a digital thermometer that has a probe. It's very important that you monitor your temperature so you don't burn the, these apple fritters, which is essentially like a donut dough. And then it's got cinnamon and apple pie filling in the center of it. Um, and then because you don't want to burn them and you certainly don't want to have too much oil absorbed by the dough. If the oil is too hot, you'll burn them. If the oil is too low, you'll have too much oil absorbed into the dough and it will really taste greasy. I'm going to 
dip these apple fritters into a simple glaze. It's just powdered sugar, milk, and a splash of vanilla. Make it as thick or thin as you prefer. We like it a little thinner. If it doesn't come out to the right consistency, you could just add a splash of milk. If you need it to be a little thicker, add a little bit of powdered sugar. And you want to whisk everything together so there's no lumps. This is great for donuts, for apple, uh, apple cider donuts. We use it on pumpkin donuts. And then obviously apple fritters.